Well, how you doing folks? My friends here in Tucson, Arizona, giving you a little weather update and heck I uh, I was thinking I should have taken a video earlier because it, I'll tell you it looked like uh, pretty Orwellian. Okay, right? So I just walked out now. It's like 6:30 in the evening. Before it gets dark and I'm going to be not around. So uh, I thought I'll give you a video. And I come out, it looks boring. Well, <laughs> not really. Uh, let's check this out. Holy heck. Orwellian's a good name here. Oh, yeah, just clouds, right? Isn't that right? Clouds? Is that what they call those? No, oh, sorry, that, that's not what I was going to show you. <laughs> so, so let's take a look at this. This is HD, so unless I'm shaking it too bad, you should be able to see this pretty well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Tucson, Arizona. We're out in the desert, but they used to call a blue sky. And oh yeah, no, no, no engineer, no geoengineering going on here. <laughs> no Orwellian uh, evil going on here oh yeah except for that yeah that's yeah, just you know aerosol toxic poison no big deal don't worry about it oh that oh no those are just clouds that's right <laughs> yeah no worries just clouds okay so I'm glad I it came out anyway even though it's just a boring cloud scene I just kind of glad I show my uh, subscribers and friends and I don't have a big channel but you know hey few people like myself I like to get information from a lot of different sources and see what's going on in different places so I may be a little guy but hey actually what I do in real life uh, there's literally no comparison to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is nothing. <laughs> uh, when I do when I do uh, interviews of people just randomly, hey you know about the spraying going on? Have you seen the signs? And and when, because of course I'm in Tucson here. I am right now and I do this a lot. I'm at 50 percent. That means 50 percent of anybody I randomly ask, hey have you seen the signs around town about the spraying? They have seen them, at least 50%. Don't get me wrong, a bunch of them are totally clueless. Some had no idea what it even meant. Quite a few others uh, say, yeah, that's woke me up. That's what woke me up, man. You know, in, in your average people's lives too, think about this now. You talk about chemtrails a lot? Well, I'll tell you what, if you didn't bring it up, chances are nobody's talking about it. Because for whatever reason, there's always those people saying, oh, those are crazy people. But most people just, I guess, shut up now. They just, because they think, oh, people ain't even going to believe me. So, um, what does a normal person, let's say we have a pretty good percentage, high, maybe at least 10%, and unfortunately that's high. So we get, let's say Tucson has at least 10% people that are totally awake to this. Who can they talk to about it? Pretty much fucking no one. Because if you talk to your family about it, or your friends, or your co-workers, you know what? They're going to say that you're fucking crazy. <laughs> What's really funny is 9 out of 10 of the people watching this video are going to be probably just, you know, people like me that normal people that are uploading because they oh my god look at this criminal activity going on that's killing us you know just nice normal people um they already know this you know that's why it's like holy shit man you can't talk to anybody uh, they, i i still do you know they do too but they they're clueless they go what what are you talking about well here's the deal what my point i'm getting to here is i drive around with a vehicle that i have 
it's very highly posted. It, it very, and I do a lot of driving. Okay, let's just say that I'm everywhere, all over Tucson. And here they see my vehicle. So guess what? They fucking talk to me because they're like, okay, nobody, none even their friends or family can they? They can't even talk to because it's just it's a dead end conversation. So what happens for me every day? I was just telling my dad this um, uh, is. It doesn't doesn't phase me at all when I, I pull up to Circle K. You know, I know the guy's standing at my window and he's trying to get me to roll window down and he's all excited and or she and you name it, ever lots of people. Um, it doesn't even phase me. I keep getting going grabbing what I was grabbing before I bother opening the door. I open the door and they go, dude, dude, man, this shit's happening. It's fucking real. Or, or, or this one I love to tell people about it because it's so classic. I, I'm, del I'm, I'm at a uh, hospital. I'm parked in the red zone because I can. Because that's that's what, I do something legally that that's what the red zone is also there for me for to do. But here my vehicle's got all this information on it. So I'm I'm at the hospital, <laughs> right in the emergency lane, but trying not to block things. And here comes this lady. She blocks off the hospital emergency entrance opens both doors and two ladies both of them have these long tubes and they're wearing oxygen masks because they're basically being killed they get out it's so funny because they got, got the tube coming out of the car the car doors are open they're doing this aren't they they're fucking killing all of us she's an old lady too both of them were and now uh, they're both standing there going they're doing this and i'm like trying to get inside without cause causing too much attention I'm like uh, yes ma'am no you are correct and yes they're killing us and um, I, I'm kind of real busy can I just get you a brochure and and if you don't mind could you please move your car because you're kind of blocking a hospital entrance right now <laughs> I don't care they're fucking killing us who cares he's going on security guard comes out he's like uh, <clears throat> What's going on here? <laughs> like city of Tucson, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh my God, that's all you gotta say. And they go, oh, okay, that's cool. That's why you're up on a ladder, 25 feet up, <laughs> posting a sign. Oh my God. And someone, they do that, they'll be standing there, looking at me and I get down and I go, and they go, uh um, and they're, they're having a hard time saying anything and I go, <clears throat> City of Tucson. And they go, oh, okay, all right. And then <laughs> it takes them a couple seconds, and then they start scratching their head. What? What the fuck? <laughs> and then I drive away. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Anyway, today's the 26th, um, 726, 2016. And there's our sky today. Oh, yeah, we're doing just great. We shouldn't have much longer. At least they'll put us out of our misery real fast here. Get this thing over with, okay? You have a great day. And uh, that was sarcasm, I hope. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Later. Namaste.